Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. The world is 4.5 billion years old, and throughout these years, our world has seen some truly remarkable things. We've seen several extinction events, several ice ages, and have even managed to suffer a solar flare. But these wonders aren't the only remarkable things our world has seen. It's also seen the rise and fall of dangerous beasts of the air, earth, and seas. Beasts that can chop through bone and beasts that can bite through an entire ship. On today's video, we'll be taking a look at the most dangerous prehistoric animals that have ever walked the Earth. Number 10. Forushrosidae The Forushrosidae sounds like a regular scientific name you give to a regular bird, and to a large extent, it is. But the name that the Forushrosidae truly goes by is the Terror Bird. And trust us, this beast of the air isn't called the Terror Bird for anything. People who named it had pretty good reasons for doing so. These birds are an extinct class of large carnivorous flightless birds that were the largest species of apex predators in South America during the Cenozoic era. So they're not really beasts of the air, I guess? They could be as short as 3 feet and they could grow as tall as 10 feet. Many scientists believe that their closest relatives today are the 80 centimeter tall, 31 inch Sarimas. Aside its terrifying height, the terror bird had an extraordinarily flexible and strong neck that allowed it to carry its extremely heavy head and attack with ridiculous pace and power. It had an 18 inch long beak and it was extremely fast. How fast? Well, it could reach speeds of 48 kilometers an hour. Are you not terrified? Thankfully, it's a prehistoric animal and is extinct today. Number 9. Argavantis Argavantis sounds like the name of an elf out of a fairy tale. The Argavantis may sound like the name of a good elf, but it's a vulture with a 20-foot wingspan. And yeah, this vulture was surely one of the largest birds to ever take flight. While some early calculations say the bird has a wingspan of about 24 feet, recent calculations and analysis have placed the length of the bird's wings at 21 feet. It may not be quite as large as 24 feet, but it's still extraordinarily large. But we've only spoken about the magnificent wingspan of this bird. What of its standing height? As per recent papers, the bird was able to reach a standing height of about 5 foot 11 inches. That's taller than most human beings. So the Argavantis is nearly a 6 foot tall bird with a wingspan of 20 feet. And what's more, this bird was carnivorous and often swept down to devour carrion. Number 8. Dunkelosteus. This fish, of course, is not your regular fish. It's a beast that can grow up to 28 feet long. Aside from its monstrous size, the Dunkelosteus had a monstrous bite as well. How monstrous? Well, it could deliver bites with over a thousand pounds per square inch of force. It also weighed about four short tons, making it one of the largest fishes to ever exist. The peculiar thing about this fish is its two-part bony band armored exterior. This made it a relatively slow but powerful swimmer, but we don't think this would have been a problem from the big old and armored dunk. He would only need to wait an ambush prey. He was certain to destroy them with one bite. Amazingly, the dunk could open and close its jaws in less than 80 milliseconds. Yeah, that's less than a second. Number 7. A rat the size of a bull. The Josephoar tagacea monetis, an extinct species of South American caviomorph rodent, is the largest rodent known. And it lived from about 4 to 2 million years ago during the Pliocene to early Pleistocene era. The rat may have weighed up to a ton and was basically the size of a bull. Imagine how scary regular rats are today. It was about 5 feet tall and had all the physical characteristics of a rat. The tiny ears, the somewhat long mouth, and even the docile looking face. It was a house rat, but the size of a bull. And it was the stuff of nightmares. Number 6. Trudon when people imagine dangerous animals, they only think of things like speed, size, claw size, and bite force. They don't think of thinking capacity. And they should, because the most dangerous animal in the history of the Earth isn't dangerous because of size, claws, or bite force. It's dangerous because of brain power. And what's that animal? It's I, man, of course. 
And this animal, the tiny looking Trudon, was dangerous precisely because of the same reason man has now come to dominate the earth. The Trudon was so smart because it has the highest brain to body weight ratio of any known dinosaur. But that's not all. Reconstructions of the Trudon's skull have shown nascent signs of folding, where more neural cells are packed into the same area for more efficient brain functioning, making it the most neurologically advanced specimen to do so. If you thought that the Trudon's superpower stopped with its brains, you'd be wrong. It also had orb-like eyes that gave it superior sight. It could also see at night, and it was extremely fast. Sadly, the Trudon only reached about 5 feet, so it wasn't very tall, but what it lacked in size, it made up for in brain size, sight, and speed. The fact that it often hunted in packs also assures us that it would have been one of the scariest prehistoric animals to walk the Earth. Number 5 the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus was one of the largest land-based carnivores ever to walk the earth. Estimates published recently say that the animal is about 60 feet in length and weighed about 20 metric tons. That would make it as long as one and a half double-decker buses and would make it just as heavy as not one, not two, not three, but a literal herd of elephants. The skull of the Spinosaurus was long and narrow, just like a crocodile, and it also had straight conical teeth. One physical feature that stands out about the Spinosaurus is the numerous neural spines that jut right out of its back. The spines had an average height of 5 feet and likely had skin connecting them, forming a sail-like structure. Strangely, recent research tells us that it's more likely that the Spinosaurus spent its time terrorizing water than terrorizing land. Look, don't ask us how it works, we have no idea either. This huge beast would only come to land to supplement its fishy diet with scavenged carrion. But how was this monster able to hunt in shallow waters? Well, we don't know the entire story, but we do know that it had special structures in its snout that helped it detect pressure waves caused by prey moving in the water. That would definitely have helped it catch the sea prey it loves so much. Number 4. Maposaurus The best way to understand how dangerous the Maposaurus is, is to understand what prey the animal hunts. And the Maposaurus hunts, almost exclusively, the biggest animal of all. The earth lizard, as the Maposaurus is often called, hunted and ate the Argentinosaurus, a large herbivorous dinosaur that reached up to 130 feet in length. It also weighed about 100 tons and was one of the largest beings to walk the earth, period. And the Maposaurus routinely hunted it down. Although this dinosaur wasn't too large and only reached lengths of about 33 feet, it still performed remarkable feats of hunting. Number 3. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus is an extinct genus of ape from the early to middle Pleistocene of southern China. The Gigantopithecus was once described as a hominid, that is, a member of the human line, but it's now thought to be more closely related to orangutans. Although we haven't found a lot of the remains of this animal, we now know that the Gigantopithecus was a massive, gorilla-like ape and that it weighed up to 600 pounds. It also stood up to heights of about 12 feet and was sometimes said to walk on both feet, making it the best prehistoric source of the famed Bigfoot of myths and legends. After Himalayan mountaineers found large footprints in the snow in 1961, they concluded that the owner of the footprints must be a large ape-like character. Soon, one zoologist, a man named Chernetsky, came out and said that the owner of the footprints must be the Gigantopithecus. Now it's time for today's best pick. Our picture for today was sent in by a subscriber. If you ever come across a picture and want to know more about it, you can send it in to us. Who knows, your picture may even get featured in a future video. Number 2. Titanoboa Imagine this. It's 60 million years ago. All the dinosaurs had become extinct, alongside other huge predators like them. There's a power vacuum in the world of predators, and the stage is perfect for a super predator to appear. And appear it does. The super predator that appears is the 50 foot long snake, a monster named the Titanoboa. The Titanoboa was 50 feet long, it weighed 2,500 pounds, and it killed its prey through constriction. It was the predator of predators, and it made sure everything in its path fell. The Titanoboa is the largest snake the earth has ever produced, and was one of the craziest creations of mother nature. And oh, it hunted crocodiles too, in case you didn't know that. But how in the name of all that's holy was the snake able to get this big? Well, the answer is simple. 
the snake spent much of its time in the water, which meant gravity didn't affect its sizes as much. Also, oxygen levels were higher back then, so, you know. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, the T-Rex. The T-Rex is probably one of the most popular dinosaurs, and for good reason too. It was one of the most dangerous animals to walk the earth, and it looked rather despicable and horrifying. But this list isn't about ugly animals and their ability to look ugly. It's about how dangerous these animals are. And they were very dangerous. The T-Rex had one of the most powerful bites on record and was a danger to any living thing that crossed its path. It had a bite force of about 12,000 pounds, making a single bite the equivalent of an elephant sitting on you. They were also insanely huge and could reach lengths of about 40 feet, and could weigh up to 4 metric tons, by far the largest carnivore in its environment. Tyrannosaurus rex was most likely an apex predator, preying upon hadrosaurs, armored herbivores like ceratopsians and ankylosaurs, and possibly sauropods. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye and remember to stay safe.